Welcome to my channel Daily Bulletin News. Days of Our Lives Preview. Jack's back proclaiming, Abigail is alive, and it's prom night in Salem. Jack walks into the Horton house, exclaiming, Did someone say my name? He says Abigail is alive, and in the next scene, Julie and Chad look at a laptop and she says, We're going to find out. The search for Abigail and where she's been, all hinges on her supposed killer Clyde Weston's claim she really didn't die. Marlena tells her son Eric that no one deserves to be alone, and they embrace. Eric's had a hard time what with Sloane's betrayal, her fleeing town, and losing his son Jude to EJ and Nicole. Of course, now Stefan knows the truth, that Eric is Jude's dad, but we doubt he'll be rushing to tell Eric when he can use this information to force EJ to reopen Gabby's case. In Horton Square, Leo gives someone a thumbs up. Might it be that hunky Dr. Mark Green? Eli and Lanny return home with the twins to celebrate Juneteenth, anniversaries and more with Abe, Paulina, Shannel and Johnny. Theresa has two men after her, one is her ex Brady, with whom she shares a kiss, and the other is Alex, who proclaims he loves her. Of course, she's keeping secrets from them both, namely that she was Constantin's accomplice, the one who kidnapped Victoria, and switched Sanders' name out for Alex's as Victor's heir. Finally, it's prom night, and Brady and Theresa are chaperoning and have their eye on Tate. Tate and Holly attend with other dates but eventually sneak off and meet up at the Salem Inn for their own special prom night celebration. Stay tuned and subscribe the channel.